Damsel, I say unto thee, arise. Come on now. And straightway. Oh, 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 look at here. He's speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. But he interpreted. That's right. Come on. You hear what he just did? That's right. He spoke in tongues because mm -hmm. he spoke right to his daddy. That's right. He had to go to his father to do this one. Come on. That's a good one. That's good. He spoke in tongues and he interpreted. That's right. But he had to go to the father so that so so nobody else can understand. That's right. But God is God. He put this in here so we can understand when you speak in tongues, you need to interpret. Mm -hmm. And you gotta believe. Some things you gotta go to the father. That's right. But the word so powerful, Satan can't even get it. That's he couldn't right. even do none of this. Read that right there again. We're gonna have to get this one. We gotta learn what he just said. We gotta write these words down and, and get enough confidence. And maybe one day <laughs> our father, somebody might be dead. We might have to do this just to see this work out. Right. That's it. That's it. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talithia Kumai, mm -hmm. which is being interpreted, mm -hmm. damsel, I say unto thee, arise. And in my tell, in my mind to say, young girl. It means young girl. I tell you to stand up. Come on. Now, you see he interpreted. Now, if you want to learn interpretation, he just Come gave on. us one. Come on. That's it. So he was like, you you ain't you you are not speaking, you ain't speaking to you can't be saved. Or they uh -huh. trying to put their hand on your stomach, man, and then I'm up and my Making you speaking something right. and you don't know what the hell you about to speak. Come you on. don't know what they putting in your body. Come on. Come on. Learn these two words. Come on. In the spirit. Come on. And then you say, young girl, stand up and walk. That's it. Come on. <laughs> That's it. Huh? That's I'm it. about to write this down. That's I'm about it. to learn how to speak in tongues. That's it. Right now. The right way. Right way. This, I'm, right now, I, I'm, I'm about to speak in tongues. Hey. He just gave us some um, tongueless right there, and That's he it. gave it to us. And you got to learn how to say it. That's right. And then you you already know the interpretation. What does it mean? Come huh? on. Come on. What? Praise God, boy. God, oh my God, boy, you working up in here. You is working up in here, boy. Oh my God. Well, I'm writing this down for a minute. Because I'm I gotta I gotta learn. I'm gonna learn how to speak in tongues. Boy, God gonna teach me how to speak in tongues. And gonna give me interpretation at the same time. That's right. Come on. Huh? Oh my God. Look at that. Praise God. Wait, say that say them two word names again. Talitha Kumai. Huh? That sound like some interpretation, right? Come that on. sound like speaking to us. Come on, the, the right way. Say that. Say it slow. That first one. Talitha. Talitha. Kumai. Kumai. That's right. Stand up and walk. That's right. Oh my God, boy! If I go in the hospital, oh That's my right. God, he just gave us something. Speak that to your mom. Boy, he just gave us something, didn't he? That's right. Huh? That's right. Because whatever that, see, see, God, no, He gave us an interpretation of it. But that breaks something right there. That's right. To leap the to mind. That breaks something. That's right. See, the demons, they know what that means in the spirit. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To leap, to leap the to mind. Stand up and walk. Mm -hmm. Woo! God, I'm going to practice that boy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right, where we at? You, did you read um, 42? Oh, no, yeah. I just need to write this down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> boy, tell me God ain't working in here, boy. He ain't giving anything to tell us. Boy, I ain't know. I ain't know. I ain't know. It's the first time I ever saw a guy right. speaking tongues. That's right. That's right. Well, we had Mark. He ain't doing it in Matthew. Right. I don't know if he did it in anywhere else. We got to right. find out that he, we got to learn every right. time he spoke in tongues. Right. We got to learn. And he told you what to mean. And, and, he, and he told he interpreted right. too. That's good. That's powerful. <laughs> That's powerful. <laughs> what that five? What this is five at five forty one? Five forty one. Mark. Oh, we got to put that. That's a good teaching right there, boy. That's a, that's a good teaching. Oh my God. 
He used it. He see, it's nine gifts, but see, people don't know. I think two of the gifts you gotta hide both. You can't hide one without the other. Right. See, speaking in tongues, you he said unless you speak, unless you you speak in tongues, unless you interpret it. Mm-hmm. So you gotta have both gifts. Yep. They, they they become one. That's right. He just showed you. He got both of them. That's right. <laughs> and told you what it means. And told you what it means. So if somebody say something different, then we know the difference. Huh? Can you show tell me what you mean? Right. Because Jesus just Jesus, I, Jesus told told us. He just told he showed you. Exactly. Right Let's go to that word one more time. Talitha. Talitha Kumai. Kumai. Oh my God. Praise the Lord. Talitha. Stand up Kumai. and I tell you to stand up. Hmm. And this is for the dead. If somebody dead, they could be dead spiritually. They they could be dead spiritually and they could be dead yeah, physically. Yeah, yeah. Right. Stand up and walk. Mm-hmm. And that word Talitha Kamai, they they te- they're telling somebody to get up out of there. That's right. That's right. Because for this to work, somebody had to get up out of there. That's right. And what was that? Come on. That was death. That's right. On both sides. That's right. Physical or spiritual. Come on. Mental or, you know. Oh my God. Go ahead and read 42. Right. Get us on out of there. 42 and 43. And straightway the damsel arose mm. and walked, for she was at the age of 12 years. Oh my God. And they were astonished <laughs> with a great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it. And commanded that something should be given her to eat. Now, for my understanding, now I might be wrong, but we gotta do research on it. In these days, they didn't do a bonding, a bond, a bond, a a bond being a bond, a bond. Uh-huh. So when you get a bond, they take all your arteries out. Mm-hmm. And I always pray to God when I just go to funeral and I say, you know, somebody get up there and just pray with this person, bring them, and God, and the spirit came to me and said. It might be impossible because he don't have nothing in him no more. His heart's gone, his liver gone, his kidneys gone, everything gone. Mm-hmm. Now I know God can when he when he bring the dead up, he gonna do it because they gonna resurrect that, that power of resurrection. But I didn't, I haven't saw one yet that he did in the word that was in bond, meaning all the oddities is gone. Mm-hmm. And most of the time, when he when he resurrected somebody, it was between one to four days they was dead. That's right. Come on. It wasn't no week, two weeks, three weeks. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Now, that's some that could be some significant study for us. You know what I'm saying? But that's just let you know. That's why when you see people talking about they going over them over a dead body and, and they talking about see. So you, you gotta have it, you gotta you gotta be God so you got you gotta have enough wisdom and understanding. You trying to bring somebody alive, but can they really be brought back alive? Ain't nothing in them. Mm-hmm. Everything gone. That's right. That's why I'm studying, I'm gonna study um, you know, my God forbid, whenever I hope Christ, I hope I can see Christ come back. But God forbid, I want I wanna go through the Jewish way. Uh, they put you on, they, they cover you with olive oil, they soak you in olive oil, and they wrap you up, all your olive oil, everything in you. And if I ain't, if I ain't woke up in three days and three nights, go ahead and bury me. That's how it is. Give me, give me, give me three days. And I, and that's the three that I don't want to, I don't want to go past four days. So don't be trying to keep my body. And, and so, 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 try to get people to come and all that. Get me out of that. Get me to the earth, to the earth, to the ground of the earth where God want me to be until he, until he take me up out of there. Name to you. Let's go to um, Mark ten fifty two. Mark ten fifty two. Mark ten fifty two. Mark 10, 52. Jesus said, Go you, go you, are, go you, go, you are healed because you believe. At once the man could see, and, and he 
follow Jesus on the road. Okay, let's go up a little bit. Forty. You just gave me the name. I know, but I see it. But I want to make sure because I have a different. Remember, mine is a different. It's the same it's name, though. All the yeah, names. Yeah. What scripture are you on? We on forty six. Uh huh. You just gave me his name. And, and they came name. to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number. Oh, okay. Um, number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus. Timaeus was sitting by the road. Follow me, y'all. You gotta follow me. I might need y'all to pronounce yeah. words. When Jesus heard that Jesus, when Jesus heard. When he heard that Jesus from Nazareth was walking by, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, <laughs> have mercy on me. Man, you, you, you see the kind of faith? I mean, these people, I, mm -hmm. I mean, they just heard Jesus Nazareth was around. Mm -hmm. But it ain't telling you how they got connected with Jesus. Did they just, was it like a rumor in the city going on that this man, they called Jesus of Nazareth, healing people, walking around, and people trying to get at him? It's not even telling us how they, how they even, how they get to Jesus. I mean, how they learn about this man to build that much faith. Mm -hmm. This man said, Oh, you the son, you, you, you Jesus, the, 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 you Jesus from Nazareth, and walked by and begun to shout. He said, Jesus, the son of David. This man had some in him. Yeah. Have mercy on me. Many people, many people didn't even know what this man was talking about. That's right. They didn't even have that spirit he had. He said they was wondering what this blind man, why well, he be quiet? That's right. <laughs> man, I remember this lady told me I was in church singing, man, and I know my voice carried. Because God said, I got a trumpet. And one day I'm going to have to blow it. And you can't have no trumpet being whistle. Being right. so, having a, a you, you got to have a whistle. Right. You can't be having a trumpet. You can't, you ain't got no whistle. You can't, can nobody hear you. So people, man, my mom, I was singing and praise God. This lady turned around. She said, can you be quiet? <laughs> now, we in church, and we're supposed to be praising God. And this woman going to come to me to my, can you be quiet a little bit? <laughs> Boy, my volume got up higher. I wanted, to I wanted to take them ears off that demon. Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped it and said, tell the man to come here. The man, when he just heard him shouting, right. the man, he had to walk, but Jesus probably couldn't even see the man. Mm -hmm. So they can't, so they called it a blind man saying, cheer up, get to your feet. Jesus is calling you. The blind man jumped it up, left his coat there, and went to Jesus. What we going to have to leave to get to Jesus? And this is there was a coat. Could it be a house? Could it be a car? Come on. Could it be your bank account? You think you got all money in it? Come on. Could it be sin? Come on. That's it. This man left his coat and went to Jesus. Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man answered, Teacher, I want to see. Oh, God. Man, we got to get this. We got to write some man. Right now, whatever you dealing with, tell the teacher, I want what you want. This man wanted to see. What you want, tell him. Jesus said, go you, go. You are healed because you believe. At once the man could see and he followed Jesus on the road. 
See, this man.